So we've got a rare. Petition's Blade is great in the rogue deck. Obviously relying on combos as well. You don't have to combo, but you want to deal that two damage, obviously. Is um fair, but a very good card. As soon as you are... Oh, that's Ice Barrier. Yeah, Ice Barrier. It's, uh, it's not a great card, but it does go alright if you're just looking to survive for longer. So maybe if you're facing a lot of rush decks and you're waiting until the late game, it can come in handy. Oh, obviously only for a mage. Um, Arathi Weaponsmith is really good for a warrior because you obviously get to equip that 2-2 weapon as well. So you're getting a 3-3 for 4, but then you're also getting the 4 damage from your weapon as well. So it does make it really worth it. Golden Golden Common and a Rare Wisp. I really wouldn't play that ever, even in uh, <laughs> Arena, I wouldn't worry about picking them up. Um, double Minions Attack, doesn't come in handy as often as you'd think, you're better off having, no, oh, generally you're better off having just a, a creature or something else to play there. Uh, Thrall Fear, it doesn't really come in handy too often, yeah, neither does he really. So round four commons, uh, Noble Sacrifice, I actually don't mind on the Paladin, when an enemy attacks someone to two on Defender as the new target, so you can just sort of screw them over a little bit with the trades and yeah, be, be a little bit tricky, especially if you're playing a lot of, oh, the Hunter, sorry, the Paladin doesn't have a whole load of traps, so yeah, it can be a pretty good one. Upgrade, if you have a weapon, give it plus one, plus one, otherwise equip a 1-3 weapon. I don't really rate this card that highly. You're probably not going to see it in Arena, really, or Constructed. So, yeah, you probably don't have to worry about that for Rare too much. And Loot Hoarder, you'll see a fair bit. Um, yeah, even a little bit in Constructed, but mostly in Arena as well. Uh, just be able to draw a card so you get to play him, and you're going to get another card anyway, so. A Rare and an Epic of Doomsay. At the start of your turn, destroy all minions. Okay, so obviously you're going to play him, your opponent's going to get a turn, and then all minions on the field are going to get destroyed. So he's 0-7 though, it's going to be hard for your opponent to kill him, but, I don't know, it's a bit situational, I wouldn't probably run him ever, like, yeah. Yeah, it's just risky to have in your deck, I feel. But it is a 2-drop, so. Uh, Scarlet Crusader is also a very good card, that Divine Shield means that you're pretty much guaranteed to get off at least 3 damage, and... Then you can do it with another three if they can't kill you from there as well, so very good card. And that assassin there, I didn't, don't really rate that highly. Yeah, Epic and a rare. Twisting Nether, destroy all minions, so eight drop, obviously very big, and it can be a little bit hard to be not be playing creatures that late in the game, but destroying all minions obviously just clears the field. Warlocks are pretty good late game in general, so... Yeah, well, destroy all minions. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to destroy yours as well, though, so you have to watch out for that. Uh, deal damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion. So if you've got a card that gives your hero attack or a weapon, or that's just like your hero ability or something, then, like a, a rogue, then, yeah, obviously come in handy, but I uh, wouldn't rate it that highly. Cruel Taskmaster, you see him a little bit in Arena, deal 1 damage to a minion and give a plus 2 attack. So he can be a little bit risky sometimes, giving that 1 damage onto someone, but you know, plus 2 attack does come in handy. So we've got a rare Defias Ringleader, is amazing for Rogue. So you summon a 2 1 Defias Bandit if you can combo it. So you can actually combo off the coin that gives you that extra uh, crystal if you are a second, so the combo is just like, on your first turn, you play the coin, you throw that down, and straight away you've got a 2-2 and a 2-1, so that's a little bit broken to start with. Epic. So we've got Epic and a Rare. Avenging Wrath, yeah, we've got Avenging Wrath just before, just a really, really great card. Explosive trap we've seen. Uh, I think we've seen just about all these with damage equal to it. Yeah, we've seen all those. Yeah, so far I've got two legendaries, so not too bad. But yeah, they can be pretty hard to get. So vaporize. When a minion attacks your hero, destroy it. Yeah, very good secret. Um, obviously going to be come in handy, probably more late game than anything. Just get rid of those big creatures. Or if he's getting rushed down, it can also be very handy. Uh, everything else is pretty average. Slam, you see it a little bit. Some 
deal 2 damage to a minion if it survives, draw a card. Generally, you're going to use it to kill someone, but... Got a rare call there, yeah, yeah, not a not a good rare at all. But inbound elemental has its place because shamans use a fair bit of overload. And sorcerer's apprentice is great in the mage deck just to reduce the cost of those spells and get more off. Got rare silver knight, silver hand knight. Sorry, uh, battle cry summon a two two. So you're going, you're dropping a five, you're getting a four four, but then you're getting a two two as well. So it actually is a great card, uh, good value. You will see it a lot in arena and every now and then in constructed because it's not really that bad a card. And everything else we've talked about, I believe, except for natural. I'll destroy a minion. Your opponent draws two cards. Yeah, bit touch and go. Yeah, I wouldn't run it pretty much. Yeah, ever. <laughs> you really don't want your opponent drawing cards. So two rares and a golden common. Wild pyromancer. Wild pyromancer. Sorry. Um, I think we talked about him before. Good, good in mage decks, especially just the, the heavy spells. Um, Spellbreaker. I got two of them actually. One gold. Very, very good card. Silence in this game is amazing. You'll find just about any card that gets played is going to have something that can be silenced. But obviously, things a battle cry. You can't silence it because it's going to happen as soon as I enter the field. But things that. Like, whenever you play a card, gain plus one, plus one. You could just silence that, and then that ability wouldn't happen anymore. So you're getting a 4-3. Obviously, for a 4, it's not that great, but the silence of minion is great. And you've got to make sure you have some sort of silence or CC in your deck, just to get rid of those very, those, those big, big drops. So we've got an epic. Spellbender. When an enemy casts a spell on a minion, summon a 1-3 as the new target. Could be pretty good late game, but really situational and sort of hard to do. I think everything else we've just about talked about. Everything else good, that is. That really is a sick animation. You never get sick of it. So rare and a bunch of... Uh, in a fire, change a minion's attack to be equal to its health. Can be amazing. I saw it at a priest deck the other day. They used a card, got it up to like a 0 20, and then threw in a fire on it, and it killed me. So that was in constructed, actually. So you might see it every now and then, not too often. And uh, eagle horn bow, when a secret is revealed, gain plus one durability. So for what it is, it's, it's not great, because you don't see that many secrets. Um, if you obviously... Do you find someone that's playing a secret deck and you have that in your deck? It's going to be a pretty good card, but I really haven't encountered many secret decks over my times so far in Hearthstone. Ah, oh, four rares. There you go. So, Petitions Bay talk about Cold Light is uh, not a great. So, deal four damage. If a hero has 12 or less health, deal six damage instead. So, you've got a four for four, really, unless you're under 12 health, when you could be in a bit of trouble anyway, then deal six instead. Average card. I probably wouldn't run it. Uh, SI7 Agent is actually a very, very good card. Relies on the combo, obviously, as rogues do. Very combo heavy. But you get to deal 2 damage as he comes in. So you're getting a 3-3 three, three for 3, which is value. And you're getting to deal 2 damage, which can be amazing in some situations, just to clear out one of their minions. Golden Rare, so Zul Drake talked about before, very, very good card. Venture Co. Mercenary, now, you play him, you get a 7-6 for 5, obviously great value, but the rest of your minions that you're going to play while he's alive will cost 3 more. So that's quite a lot, but he's a huge threat on the field. You might not see him so much in Constructed, but you'll see him a lot in Arena. Pretty much if you can choose him in, in Arena, you're going to grab him, unless there's something else that's really good for your class. So... Because he's out there, he's 7-6, you're going to be attacking all the time anyway, and he's probably going to die pretty quick, but he might take the enemy's spells, like a good spell away to get rid of him. So he's definitely worth it. And Mark of Nature, choose one. Give a minion plus 4 attack or plus 4 and, and taunt. Plus 4 health and taunt, sorry. Uh, for the Druid, very, very good card. Um, definitely would be running that in a Druid deck. If you've got a few drops that are pretty big anyway, uh, you generally go for the plus 4 health and taunt. It's not very often that you go for the plus 4 attack unless you're going for the rush down and the kill. Um, Eldor Peacekeeper is an amazing card. 3-3-3 three, three, three value. Battle cry, change an enemy's minions attack to 1. So, good early game, good late game. It can really just duel anyone with that sort of trade. And yeah, it's just a really, really good card. If you can pick it up and you play your Paladin, obviously, then you're going to want to. 
You'll be even playing him in Constructed. It's got a rare Divine Favor. Very situational for a Paladin. Draw cards until you have as many in your hand as your opponent. So, I don't know, it can come in handy sometimes, but yeah, I would generally wouldn't be running it. Unless maybe in Arena and all your other options are really bad. Uh, Youthful Brewmaster can come in handy if you've got a lot of creatures that have Battle Christ when they enter the field. So, return a friendly minion from the battlefield to your hand is his Battle Cry. So, you can play him, return someone to your hand, and then play him again and get their Battle Cry again as well. So, yeah, it's, it's it's not a horrible card, but obviously very situational and can be tough to use at time. Scavenging Hyena, very good in Hunter decks that go around beasts. Whenever Friendly Beast dies, gain plus two, plus one. Some of those beast decks can get pretty scary at times. Okay, here we go, Legendary. Scenarius or Canarius? Oh, it may be Scenarius. Choose one. Give your other minions plus plus... Sorry, give your other minions plus two, plus two, or summon two, two, two... Tree Ants with Taunt. So, he's a 9 drop, which makes him pretty big. He's probably better 9 drop legendaries than this, I'd imagine. And, oh, it's the Druid legendary, though, okay. So, giving him minions plus 2, plus 2 is a pretty big buff. Or awesome, summon 2, 2 trans. okay. It's, yeah, it's not it's not the best legendary. There's a lot of good legendaries out there. Um, and it's a big drop. I, you might run it in your Druid deck. I'd probably say not, though. So Blade Flow, you destroy your weapon, deal its damage to all your enemies. Can be very good, um, especially if you've got a big weapon equipped. Maybe it's only got one durability left and you just clear the board with it for a two drop. So can be very, very good. Demolisher. That's not actually a card I quite like. I don't get to run him as much as I maybe like, but at the start of your turn, deal 2 damage to a random enemy. So, he's obviously 1-4 for 3, so not, not super value, but if you can keep him alive and just keep getting that 2 damage every turn, it's uh, pretty amazing. You can't actually get him stealth or anything, because once he uses the deal the 2 damage at the start of your turn, then he actually comes out of the stealth, so you can't just do 2 damage all day for free. Um, that's about all. Talk about the others. So we've got one round. Mind control tech. Um, can come in handy late game, generally, or against a rush deck. If your opponent has four or more minions, take control of one at random. So obviously you don't get to pick which one, but it is a 3-3 for three. And can come in handy in arena if you maybe don't don't have very many other good options for your res. So it can be alright. But the others are all pretty straightforward. Talked about them. Okay, last pack. Let's see what we can get. I'll hover over these ones. Okay, we got four commons in a rare. So, repentance when your opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to one. Situational again. Can be hard to get off, hard to use. And redemption when one of your minions dies, return it to life with one health. Can be very good late game if you've got some of those large drops that have like a lot of attack and whatever. Yeah. All paladin so far and all class. Okay, Sunfree Protector, another great two drop. So you're getting two three for two, which is a pretty pretty amazing, good value. And battle cry, give adjacent minions taunt. So that is also very good. So you can give two minions taunt. But that is it for the packs, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and it was a bit informative. So I got three legendaries from that, a few epics and all that sort of stuff. So if you do decide to buy packs, uh, good luck getting those good cards and whatever. But cheers for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out or you just enjoyed it, please smack that like button. Or you can also subscribe to my channel for more videos similar to this one. Thanks, guys.